Hey guys, what's up? It's early in the morning. Um, it is Friday. We're going to an estate sale. There's no good estate sale actually, except for one. But it only has one toy that I want, and that is a GI Joe 1965 or 66 um, doll with original box with weapons. It looks like it's missing just the insignia uh, piece, um, but I'm not quite sure. So um, it's kind of interesting. I've seen them sell for five to a thousand depending on the condition but it's it's just it, it's just it the market's like from the bottom to the too high from 200 to a thousand so you know i gotta go look into it further in and uh find out what makes it valuable and you know because there's different variants of that toy so that's the only reason i'm going guys because I, I really want to learn about it i because I see them at the flea markets, but I just don't know enough about it. And this is a perfect chance to take advantage and learn and hopefully be able to score for a great price. I want to stay under 150, um, but if it's 200, I'll think about it. Um, that might be a little too high, but like I said, I want to learn and take my time with these figures. Um, so, I'll show you guys a picture. Hopefully, I'll be able to get it, pick it up. I'm going early in the morning. It's going to be 5 a.m. I'm not going super, super early just because it's just a toy. Um, it's not multiple things when it's multiple things I want to get there ahead of time But since it's only gonna be one thing it would really suck if I don't get it um, and, You know, like I said when it's the first five ten people, it's a free-for-all um, and You don't know what the damn thing is that so that's the only thing I'm worried about is being there early and not being able to get it because let's say the person let's say person number three walks into it and gets it uh, compared to the person number one where they don't know, they don't know where to go and uh, you have to figure out where it might be. Usually I ask the vendor or the seller, but sometimes they don't want to tell you. So it's gonna be a little hard, but we'll see what happens. So see you guys in a bit. I'm gonna make some tea. <sighs> this is already it is, guys. Nobody up, nobody's awake. It's so, uh, close to 5 a.m. But I did bring myself to enjoy reading some vintage robots. Now guys, I can't, I can't say this enough buy these books they're so knowledgeable you get to learn a lot um, and a lot of this stuff goes for over a hundred dollars so um, and then you know 10 robots if they're original from the 70s 50s 60s they go over a hundred dollars easily guys i've sold a lot of them uh, within my uh, you know since i've been doing this um the highest one i've ever sold was i think 500 so just to give you guys a heads up uh, buy these books learn you know knowledge is power i tell you guys all the time so I'm, I'm gonna jump into a new section which is gi joe i see it all the time i pick it up for friends but i think it's time for me to learn gi joe so i have to go out and buy a book and uh i'm gonna look into some uh, video pages websites and see what's up with this gi joe toy as well i'll talk to you guys soon all right guys so i'm here i am john i just say john because we don't want people to know who i am but there's supposed to be two people here but i only see one bag so i see the guy up front part but i don't know if this is the right address so I just put my stuff there in case, but I should be number three. And that's me right there. I'm not sure right. Did I put John over there? Yeah, cool. Uh, I just don't know if that's the address, but we'll find out. Uh, no, I'm not sure if they're here for the same thing, but uh, it should be the right address. Let me double check though. Hey guys, so I'm already, uh, it's 6.13, it's only been like half an hour, uh, but after watching a whole bunch of videos on this uh, vintage G.I. Joe, it is the first release, 1964 G.I. Joe. Now, very stoked, but it's not the first, first release one. Now, there's three released that same year in different boxes, uh, colorations. Um, you know, the first, first release came in a white box, the second release came in a white box as well, with different coloring tape and the third one came in a green box but i'm a little confused right now because the last one recent sold was over a thousand dollars but it was sold in a green box so i'm trying to figure out what's you know what's actually going on because you know how do you value it but there's an there's a way to tell um so when the you know the the outside box of the gi joe um let me write it down here for you guys that should be fine um, the first release, they call it the Triple TM. 
Um, so, you know, on the corner of the right side of the box, it will say, like, right under uh, Soldier, it will say TM, and then right under that leather letter on the top, it will say TM, and then if you switch the box to the bottom, it will say another TM. So they call it the Triple T, uh, making it the first release G.I. Joe that came in a white box. But the one that recently sold had the three TMs, but it came with the inner green box. So that's kind of a little confusing, right? You would think, you know, you know, watching up there, uh, watching like a few videos of these people that with their collections, they all come in a white box. So I'm still trying to figure out what happened. But all right, so let's get to the second one. The second one is a little bit more obscure, but right under the value of the, th of the triple TM GI Joe, which is like about seven to nine hundred dollars. Um, which, if you look into it, there's only two TMs, which is the right side and the top side, but no TM on the bottom side, so they call it the, the, the double TM. Um, so that's the second issue from that same year. So we know when they put them on shelves, the they sold out so fast they had to make uh, more and they changed the box with you know just double TM or the whatever reason. Um, so that one's the second one. And the one that here at the auction is a double R um, GI Joe, which is the third issue of that same year figure. Um, so it was a later um, production toy, but it came from that same year. Um, they put double R and then I think a TM on the bottom um, and it came in a green inner box, which I'll show you guys when we go in there. So now I'm, I know for a fact what I can drop money wise. The last one sold um, complete, sold for 500 plus shipping. So I'm gonna say like about 530. Now I gotta go into it about $200. Now I'm not sure what they're gonna price it at, honestly. Um, I'm not even sure if I haven't, haven't, I don't have it in my hands yet. So I'm not sure if I'll even get the toy. So it's gonna be a fee for all the first five, 10 people that go in there. And hoping that I can grab that toy ASAP. Hopefully they're doing jewelry or buying those, you know, nice bags, whatever reason. That's usually what happens uh, with high-end estate sales. This one seems like it's a high-end. It's a very nice high-end neighborhood. But at the same time, they could be cheap. They want to get rid of this stuff. They want to move it away. Um, I've scored really good toys at estate sales. Hope you know, I was hoping they wouldn't want to get that stuff. And sure enough, they didn't. They went for other things. Now, the last... The last best one that i went when i got the hot wheel poster everybody went for the toys i went for the poster straight up i asked the guy where's the poster he told me where it's at i got very lucky with that poster and they sent it for twelve hundred dollars just to give an idea that there's stuff that is worth money um this gi joe now i know for a fact if it's not cracked um i gotta expect it if it's not cracked it's at least worth four to five hundred dollars maybe even six if i have if i can push it but I have to make sure everything's nice and in good condition and hopefully it has those Sigma, uh, Sigma, Sigma, I think it's something like that, stickers, because I didn't see it there in the picture. If it has that, then for sure we're, over, we're talking that, you know, $500, $600 um, toy. But if not, we can still kind of value it at about four, five hundred, maybe the lowest end, three fifty. Um, so for me personally, this is a awesome, awesome pickup if I get it, because it'll be my first original um, 1964 G.I. Joe pickup ever. And I don't do G.I. Joe, but I want to learn today. That's the reason I'm here. So let's hope we get it and I'll see you guys soon. Disney sweater from 1979. Nice. Be perfect for the antique store. No, I'm not. There's books. Oh, Let's see what's here. 
Look what this guy is. I got the, the, the G.I. Joe and I got the car. But it's only cash, so I'm very limited. more clothes. Let's grab my stuff. I don't want to lose it. It's making its hot tough. Shirt, shirt, shirts. Dun, 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 dun. Hopefully, there's some decent shirts. That's what I'm looking for. Nothing. Okay, that's pretty much it. Cool. Alright guys, we came and we conquered. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh. So, um, the only bad news about it is that the figure does have cracking. Um, and it's typical, it happens with a lot of the G.I. Joes. Um, I told the lady if she gave me a discount, she gave me $25, uh, $25 off. Instead of $150, I said, oh, perfect, that works. Because it's still valued at a good price. So, uh, I did get the Chonka truck for $50. Um, this one goes for about 150, 180, so that's a nice find. And of course, I'll show you guys. Give me a second. I think people were bummed out. They wanted to get the figure, but that wasn't gonna happen. I'm glad the guy that I was going for was not going what I was going for. So I'm super stoked. And uh, here he is, guys. So this is the third release one um, of the same year. So here you guys go. I unbutted him, I checked him. He was a little cracked on the legs. But like I said, it's an old toy. It does happen. But still, to be in the original box is really good. And she was just a little, oh, you know, you know I thought you are going to spend more money. But no, nah, I got I to gotta be patient with my money. And I got the two main things that I wanted to come get. And that was it. So super stoked, guys. Awesome. Okay, guys, so it's round two at the estate sales. Um, lucky, luckily... I have some great friends that are gonna help that are gonna come with me, help me out. Hopefully they find some really good stuff for themselves. But I haven't hanged out with David for it's almost been close to a month. Um so he's coming with us today. Him and his brother, so super super stoked. Uh, I miss my friends. Uh, I know he's been very, very busy. Um so now it's good to have the gang with us and uh we will see so what happened with this estate sale is, I swear to God, I didn't see it yesterday. Um, I looked up every estate sale one by one. <laughs> um, so they had uh, a whole bunch of video games. They had a whole bunch of really expensive toys that I didn't see at all. So I'm hoping that they still might have a little bit of that stuff. Maybe it didn't sell yesterday because it could have been it could have been priced high. It could have been priced too low, or people didn't it didn't catch someone's interest. So we're gonna go see if they still have it. I'm hoping for the best. And uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so we're in the second estate of the day for this morning. And vapors. Yeah. So guys, they have Lord of the Rings. Uh, All right, come on in. Woohoo! Let's go inside. Let's go. I should have brought my bin. <laughs> That's all right. Oh, they don't let you with backpacks in. Yeah. I want with some Um, Xbox. Maybe the Wii. Oh, uh, everything's thirty percent off. You can negotiate okay. pricing too as well at the register. I see what I want. Still shop is still here. Oh, two hundred. That's what I didn't sell yesterday. But for let me see, if they'll do like at least maybe they'll do hundred. Oh, that's cool. This is pretty rare, guys. Let's see if we can do it. We can get it for a hundred. All right, guys. So we got that huge uh, plush. We got these so far. Fifty to thirty percent off. So they're giving out really good deals today. 
I'm glad we came. <clears throat> Whoa, Ninja Turtles. Like comics. Nice. Like little storybooks. <laughs> I'll grab these. This one's a little beat up though. Let's see if we can get a deal on them. Maybe for a buck a piece. Someone took the turtle van. Damn it, that's what I was trying to hope they would still be here. Because they were sure that was priced pretty high. But someone took it, so. Yeah, these guys tend to look up everything. That's the thing that uh, kind of sucks a little bit. But <clears throat> prices are better now, that's for sure. Oh, some books. You guys see anything? Let me know. Whoa, trains. Vintage trains. More trains. Hey, all the McDonald's figures. Nice. Hmm, these are funny. Wendy's. Felix the Cat. Where's a pet monsters from Burger King? <gasps> oh, these are like little snow. Uh, my wife gets these actually. That's funny. They're gar gal galoob, but they're uh, I forgot what they're called. These are kind of cool. We grab those. I think that's it on toys. All right, guys, so I picked this up at an estate sale. We paid uh, 50 bucks. Now, this is my mistake. I thought it was open um, just because the way he, he looked inside and there was like paperwork floating around. But actually, he was actually brand new in the box. He's never been played with. He still has the original seals inside. I just opened them up, put them back in. And also, there was one of these included, which makes it even better of a sale. Um, last one sold was uh, $300. Um, open boxed, um, in really nice condition. I've seen some sold for like about 175 open box, but none have ever been sold brand new in the box. So I'll probably be the first one on eBay to sell this brand new in the box. It was covered in this shrink wrap. Um, so the guy, I guess, that had this wrapped it up to keep it in good condition, which he he, he did, he did, he did very well. Um, but when I was there, I thought it was open because it looked open to me. Um, so the guy's like, you know what? Um, he said 100 bucks. I said, yeah. When I was expecting it, it looked like it was open because from up here you can see it was it was open. It was the shield has been broken, um, but that could have been over time, you know, because the tape doesn't hold over time, so it tends to break. And um, I told him, "Would you do any better?" He said sixty, and I said fifty. And sure enough, when I got here, it's like okay, if it's open, if it's pretty on, I can still sell it. I still could get like maybe I can still make like you know fifty bucks on it. Um, but sure enough, like I said, it was brand new in the box, so this just changes everything. Um, he's a little bit more valuable now because people want him box brand new and none have ever sold brand new So this is an awesome find at a estate sale. So awesome. Very, I'm just very stoked I just want to share this stuff with you guys because you guys are gonna run into this stuff You know and if you see it, you know if it's a good price pick it up um, They still range pre-owned open over a hundred dollars Now I see some I've seen some sell for 75, but I've seen majority of them go for a hundred 150 200 and the last one sold was really high in really nice condition for 300 plus. So I'm going to list this for 300 and I'll add some shipping to it as well. Awesome find.